Ladies, have you ever wondered why your professional life might be lacking in some areas? Have you found that sometimes conversations that you have are ended abruptly at networking events or at meetings generally? Or have you ever wondered why that call or the email that you anticipated never came? Well ladies, once you take these tips on board, you can be assured that it will not be because of bad etiquette during virtual meetings. Hello my elegant ladies, thank you very much for returning to my channel. My name is Vivian and I am delighted to be able to share some tips and hints for you in order to become a graceful, elegant woman. We live in a virtual world largely due to a pandemic. I mean, people are increasingly working from home and using online platforms such as Teams and Zoom in order to conduct meetings virtually. We need to maintain professionalism and poise at all times. One of the qualities of elegant women include the ability to remain calm under pressure and to remain poised in heated situations. It's easy to let our guard down, however, we still need to be graceful and elegant and conduct ourselves with the utmost professionalism. Today, we'll be speaking about how to maintain poise and elegance during virtual meetings and conduct ourselves with the proper etiquette. Number one, good preparation. A trait of a real professional includes a person who shows up to meetings prepared. Don't assume just because it's a virtual meeting that you don't need to prepare in advance. If you don't prepare, you won't be taken seriously. Also, your lack of preparation will definitely show. Review any meeting materials that have been sent to you in advance and don't rely on any current knowledge during your meeting because there may be some specific questions asked at the meeting and it's not ladylike to waffle and try and get by and sound incoherent in the process. Number two, turn your camera on. This is essential because even if your boss doesn't explicitly tell you to do so, having your camera off will definitely work against you. As human beings, we tend to assume the worst. So even if you have a perfectly valid reason for turning your camera off, it will be assumed that you know, you're still half asleep in bed or you just couldn't be bothered or you weren't prepared. So elegant women really maintain class and grace at all times and show respect for the presenter. Number three, minimize distractions. It's easy to think that because you're not in person, you know, it won't matter as much. This is not true. If you have distractions such as, you know, a pet barking in the background or someone cooking, the noise could inevitably cause the presenter to repeat themselves and this can be quite annoying for them. Keep your phone on silence and close down all other browsers just in case you need to share your screen, for example, and you don't want the attendees to see your browsing history because this can cause some embarrassment and awkwardness. Also, be careful not to interrupt others when they are speaking. Use a virtual hand raise. Elegant women do not interrupt each other in person or online, so please make a note of that. Number four, dress appropriately. Dressing for success ensures that you are taken seriously and dressing appropriately also has a positive impact on your colleagues. You also feel more confident and productive. It is just as important to do so in virtual meetings as it is to do in physical meetings. So ensure that you look smart, presentable and well-groomed. This might sound like an obvious point, but please wash the sleep out of your eyes because if you don't do this, no matter how much you try, you would look like you've just woken up and it's not a good look. So you always need to make sure that you are fresh. Number five, have a good background. You may not have a stunning home office, but if you can, try to ensure that you have a clean background. People will inevitably take notice of this. There is nothing worse than seeing clutter, dirty clothes, unwashed plates during a meeting. 
there is nothing ladylike about that do not have your camera facing sunlight behind you as that will create a silhouette and some shadows and the participants won't be able to see you if for whatever reason you cannot show a background ensure that you display a visually pleasing background there are many of these especially on programs such as zoom and microsoft teams so please make use of them number six don't eat during virtual meetings Again, would you be eating a three course meal during a physical meeting? No. Well then please refrain from doing so during a virtual one too. Ensure you have a jug of a beverage and a glass and do not swig from the bottle because that's just definitely not ladylike. Refrain from drinking fizzy drinks as well because this may cause you to belch and we want to avoid that. That's definitely not elegant. Number seven look at the camera and speak clearly it is obvious if you are reading from a screen however you can have some notes that you can refer to from time to time but try to make eye contact because this will make the viewers feel comfortable and also it shows engagement preparation and a general interest in the meeting remain poised don't waffle answer any questions clearly and succinctly number eight if you need to excuse yourself, you need to inform the rest of the participants. Don't just switch your camera off and do whatever it is that you need to do. It shows good etiquette to pardon yourself. And you can even use the virtual hand raise um, that's available to you. You could even do this by sending a message in the meeting box. Ladies, I hope that you've enjoyed my video and you found it informative and I assure you that if you implement these points, you will become more effective and more professional and efficient even during your virtual meetings. Remember that habits are formed by the repetition of acts. To continue putting these pieces of advice into practice, you will become more elegant and professional during your virtual meetings. It will become second nature to you. So ladies, please, if you've enjoyed these points, please do like, comment, share and subscribe. And I look forward to speaking with you in my next video. So until then, bye for now.